Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS laptop. This one is an ASUS Tough Gaming laptop. They do come with a Ryzen in 7 and video card is a GTX 1660 Ti. And this specific model is an ASUS FX505D model. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how to can open it up and how you can upgrade the hard drive. They do come with a mechanical hard drive, but this is a real bad bottleneck right there. I'm going to show you guys what are the good combination of the SSDs that you should put and how you should do it with what kind of hard drives or how you're supposed to manage it. You can boost up the performance humongously like a lot by doing this process. And pretty much we're going to replace the mechanical hard drive in here with a, another mechanical hard drive because it's already broken. And we're going to add an M.2 NVMe SSD and pretty much we're going to put the uh, Windows on an M.2 SSD which is much faster and the games and the big files everything else is going to go over the mechanical drive. So I'm going to show you on here step by step how to do that. I got a little bit of thermal paste in here so I'm going to clean this. All right, the tools that you're gonna be needing, it's very simple. You just need a screwdriver set. And I would recommend you to guys grab this iFix screwdriver set and they have one of the best bits out there. These are S2 classy steel. We're gonna be using a Phillips number one. You can get the pro set of this one, which they'll give you opening tools, tweezers, and wristbands, many other stuff. But if you want, just grab the screwdriver set. And for the opening tool, I'm going to be using a guitar pick and metallic guitar picks are really suitable to do these openings. And we're going to need the hard drives. I'm going to be using a Seagate hard drive here, one terabyte. You can put up to four terabyte or two terabytes, whatever you wish. And we are going to add a 500 gigabyte NVMe solid state drive M.2. You can go even up to two terabyte if you wish, but the client only brought me the 500 gigabyte. Do not buy any Adata or Adata or Kingston brand. These are really garbage. If you want to go the best, go with the Samsung brand or go with the Crucial, which are really reliable and they are really good. All right, with these two on hand, so we're going to proceed to opening the laptop. We're going to power off the laptop completely. We're going to flip it upside down and down on the bottom side cover, we're going to see a whole bunch of screws and the one screw in the middle, obviously. There are two types of screws here, the long ones and the short ones. The short ones are the one in the front row of the laptop, including the one in the middle. The long ones are the side to side here and the back row end of the laptop here. So keep them in different, two different piles so you don't mismatch them. Keep the short one in one pile and the big ones on a different pile. Also, if you guys like my videos and if my video helps you guys out to do your own upgrade and disassembly and tearing down its services you can click that like button i really appreciate it if you want to support the channel you can support the channel by subscribing to it that motivates me to make more videos take requests and answer your questions i really appreciate it all right there we go now what we're going to do we're going to open up the laptop a little bit and we're going to stick the guitar pick from one corner starting between the top and the bottom cover right here. I think we're going to focus. Today or tomorrow, there we go. So we're going to stick it right there. Let me see. Somehow to find a way to manage to fix it right there. There we go. And all you want to do, you want to twist it towards the screen. So I'm twisting it down on the screen side here. So I'm going to put it there and I'm going to just twist it, pull it down. I'm not scratching anything, I'm just opening it. You should hear those clicking because those are the clips are getting loose. Do the front side, go ahead and do the side on the right and the left side. All the way to the back corner. I did this side on the right side all the way to the back corner here. I stopped right by the HDMI port here. So I didn't continue and we're going to do the back side here. So on the back end, 
you want to stick it between the top and the bottom cover and you just want to wiggle it yourself wiggle the opening tool just go all around there we go now we're going to grab it from this side that is open already bring it up and it should release the other side easily and there we have it all right down here there's a battery here you do not need to remove the battery at all is absolutely not necessary but if you want to disconnect the battery you can pull this jack backward just by two fingers just pull it back and the jack will get disconnected to put it back together just slide it evenly inward and that's it this is your mechanical hard drive so we're gonna first start with the mechanical drive we're gonna remove it to remove it the two screws one on this side and one on here remove these two screws slide the hard drive back towards the front end of the laptop bring it up this one is a seagate fire cuda so pretty much i got a different seagate here so we're gonna remove the caddy from here and switch the placing for the hard drive make sure the orientation the drives match so you want to put it in the same position you don't want to put it upside down so go ahead and remove the screw on this caddy right there remove the screw on the other side there's one screw on one side there are two screws on the other side okay once you remove the screw bring the hard drive in and place it in there put that tiny screws right there align the screw holes make sure the screw holes match there we go now what we're going to do we're going to slide it put it in an offset position obviously that way around no it was this way so yeah put it in an offset position and just slide it towards the connector and put the two screws to hold it in place for the m.2 drive here so let's go cut this one open so we're going to remove the packaging a nice unboxing I don't know what is this empty spot right there, but yeah. So remove it, grab it from the side. And uh, it's right under this cover here. You can lift it up here. You don't actually need this one. This one is to cover the if you look from underneath, you don't see the hard drive, so it just shows this one. But by removing this, the airflow comes through here and it will actually cool down the end dot too. So I'll suggest you guys to remove it. Remove this tiny screw at the back that they give you here. So you want to remove this screw actually the screw is just spinning with the base so you want to hold the base so we're going to grab a tiny pliers here and we're going to hold the bottom base so it doesn't spin and we are going to remove the screw on the top and your your riser might be really stiff there so my riser actually spins with the screw so we're going to bring this one here in four, 10 degrees. You don't want to bring it upward from the almost flat, but not flat. Bring it in and push it all the way towards the jack and push it towards the motherboard and put the, that tiny screw that you removed right on top. There we go. And that's how you install the M.2. Now that you did all this process, you can either put it on top here or just don't put this one so you can cool down the RAM by the airflow. I'm just going to put it because I don't want the client just nagging about it because it's not my laptops. If it was mine, I will remove this one. Now remember that once you do this, there's no operating system. I made a video how to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive. And I made a video how to install it on this laptop with using your Windows 10 USB boot drive. Check that link on my video description to know how to install the Windows in here and or how to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive. The next step would be to just grab the top cover here, bring it over, align it, and push it down. Make sure you hear those two clicks. And once you hear those clickings, you want to open it up and pinch the top and the bottom cover together. And you hear those extra clickings. And you want to pinch the back end too. You see that opening right there? You want to pinch them real hard so they close down. 
And the last step down here would be to put in down the screws at the bottom cover. Remember the short ones are in the mid toward the front end and the long ones are the side toward the back side. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out to replace your hard drive and upgrade your hard drive for your Asus FX505D model. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Also, if you want to subscribe to the channel, I'll really appreciate it. It will be a great motivation and support for the channel. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the screws. For those people that are always asking me, like, uh, why don't you, I turn it on here, I turn it on and I have the over lamp here, you can't see it, but as always here, there's an NVMe 500 gigabyte, the crucial one that we installed and the hard drive that we put, the ST1000LM048, which is the Seagate, the one that we just installed in here. And that's it.